Hi, this is David Philip with the left hand or right winger again. Uh, today, I well, I don't I don't necessarily have a sad note, cause it's, uh, but I wanted to kind of get my thoughts on the whole uh, closing of Toys R Us. <laughs> it actually gets out. Uh, yeah, I do try to be a little nostalgic with some of these uh, posts, not always political, but um, uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about it because it's uh, it's kind of sentimental thinking back on uh, the history of Toys R Us from my lifetime. You know, I remember even going back to the, you know, one of the, you know, first times I heard the commercial, you know, the, the classic commercial, you know, I don't want to grow up, because <laughs> uh, I'm a Toys R Us kid, you know, <laughs> it's a cute jingle, it's a cute jingle, I, you know, I still remember it, and, you know, it's got a nice ear, because it reminds me of the times, and, uh, and Toys R Us, uh, they really did something right, uh, at least for the longest time, and unfortunately, you, know, you can sort of see why things kind of fell apart the way they did. I think they, I think they, they still had it, they still had a chance to be what they were, but I think the world has changed around them, and I don't think they keep up with it. The whole toy industry is falling apart, the whole, you know, store idea is going out the way everyone's buying everything online, although Toys R Us did have a pretty good online presence. Uh, I think it's just, they couldn't keep up, they're not what they used to be because of what the situation, there's nothing they did, it's just that the world has changed. Um, kind of like, you know, in a way, you know, although they had a much better run than, uh, like, Blockbuster Video, for example, um, but Blockbuster Video, uh, like Toys R Us, the reason I'm making the connection is that they both, you know, were, uh, you know, kind of a time capsule in time, like, they held on to an era, and they really, you know, they represent a lot of memories from that era, and they were unique for their time, um, as what people, you know, what people were able to do with them, enjoy them, like, people have met memories of each, um, Blockbuster Video, I think they had an opportunity to kind of uh, change what they were doing and become better. You know, they had it, they, they, but they missed the eight ball with Netflix. And actually, I even heard rumor uh, Blockbuster Video had the opportunity to buy Netflix and really, really, you know, take over the industry. Um, and then I also hear stories too, which is kind of sick. They, I never liked the idea of businesses to try to make a profit on people's mistakes, but they made a large amount of their revenue. On people paying late fees, which I always thought was kind of sick. But that's you know, and that's where they make their money. They make up people, people making a mistake. Um, I understand. Hey, you know, you got to pay for the expense of it. Not having the video there for somebody else, fine. It's just kind of a sad thing, you know. That they do. I hate when banks do that. You know, you overdraft your account, and they don't even give you a chance to remedy the situation quickly. They just, you know, they just, um, you know, bing you, you know, bing you with a late fee or an overdraft fee. As soon as it occurs, they don't even, a lot of them don't even give you a chance, and I just find that really sad. I mean, I understand it's their own big decision; they can do it, don't like it, don't have to like it. Um, but Toys R Us, they they really were good. I don't really think of any problems with them to the time. They've been around since 1948, and you know, I have lots of memories when a kid. Like I, 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 where I grew up, you know, we had one um, on Route 9 in uh, Framingham. The shop what was the shopper's world. I don't know if it's technically still the shopper's world. That got, it's totally different. Um, but the way the store was set up, you know, you'd walk in and they'd have like the, the opening hallway with the different colors. And almost kind of too, it's like almost like a, like a, I want to say like a dreamy, whimsical effect, you know, kind of like you're going into like a tunnel vision almost, but in a good way. Because you walk in and it's like, like you know, you get that, you know, that tunnel vision going in with those colors. And you get in and the place is loaded with wall to wall with the toys. And you know, and it just you know, so it brings back so many memories thinking of things like that, and and it's a, a testament of its time because there were a lot of other toy stores that toy stores that came and went um, that really couldn't compete with it. I remember most recently, uh, KB Toys. I think they went out of business uh, maybe 10, 10 years ago, maybe more, maybe a little less, um, and they they held on for a while too. But I remember they, they just didn't they couldn't quite do it. Um, Child World is another one, and I think they did a valiant effort too, but they didn't last nearly as long. I remember there was first one in Shrewsbury, and then they did have one for a little bit, a little while in Framingham. Um, and they actually, they set up the Child World at a pretty good location. They had it at, um, on Route 30 in Framingham between a McDonald's and a Burger King. So, you know, for kids, they're like, you know, I don't know if it's the best thing for us to be eating, then, but, uh, you know, it was right in the middle of it all. Um, we had both, you know, both right in the middle there, um, and it was a good, a good location for it. And I always remember too with Child World, they had a cute little kid door. Like so when you were a kid, it was a door just for you. And they did have a, you know, from what I remember, a pretty good selection of toys, much like Toys R Us. 
Um, but for whatever reason, they just couldn't they couldn't compete with Toys R Us. Um, I think Toys R Us probably already had the name recognition; they were well known. And Toys R Us need to have the better deals, the better prices. Um, they you know, and then you no. Know, that's a big thing with Toys R Us too. They always have the best priced. Um, but that also gets in the whole problem now is that like a lot of times their their stuff was more expensive than you could get elsewhere. Um, I think it's we're coming to Walmart world. Walmart continue and well Amazon too. I got Amazon.com. Walmart and Amazon seem to be the you know the, you know the number one and number two. I don't know which order, but number one and number two you know places to buy just about anything. Everybody you know relies on those two. It's probably the most common places to find things that you need. Ten to one, you need something, you check out those two places and you get them. Um, either go to your local Walmart or look online on Amazon. And even Walmart.com, you can either order online or you can have it shipped to the store so you avoid shipping fee and you're done. And there is a matter of convenience. If you know if you're a parent and you want to get a quick toy for your kid, it's really easy. Hey, do your shopping, get a toy. You know, you don't have to make it a separate venture so much. And it becomes a more convenient society. Um, it makes sense, and especially since the toys are cheaper at Walmart than the toys are us, it you know, made a good fit. Um, you know, so it's it, it, it's it's a, it's 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 kind of a sad but you know sad but true situation. Um, just the times have changed, and it just and toys are us doesn't quite fit it anymore. It's kind of sad, you know, like I said, because I was you know I was like, you know, I have a lot of memories of toys are us as a kid. Um, but, it's kind of sad to see them go, but you know, it's kind of, you know, you can kind of see it as a sign of the times. You know, they, they did a good run and now uh, they're done. Um, and you know, still get warm memories here hear that jingle again. I actually was hearing it the other day, I was playing it. Um, I see a clip, I say, I want to play the video. It's funny, my daughter really got a kick out of it. Uh, she was singing along and everything. I was like, oh wow, you like the song too, huh? It's nice. Um, but they, they had a good run. Good long run, 1948 to, to uh, 2018. That's a good what, 60, 70 years, 70 years, yeah, 70 years. That's a damn long run. That's, that's really good. And you think about it. Well, naturally, a human being, I would like to live a lot longer than 70. But I kind of look at it kind of like, you know, as sad as it is, if you know someone that's you know, close to you that maybe lived to be like 120, and they pass away. Yeah, it's sad, but you know, 120 years old. That's a long life. And for a business that really never did any wrong to last 70 years, it's really good. It's really good. And they got something they can take home at the end of the day. Uh, they had a good run. And I don't think it'll be a long time before people forget that commercial, I think, too. Uh, and they, they, they actually did some cute things with the commercial, too. The whole, I remember, you know, I, was, uh, I forgot about it, but I was watching some of the clips um, with the commercials uh, yesterday, too. They had... Um, of course, the original for 1980 was the whole song with the kids in different to angles. They did another one I forgot about in the 90s where they they, they took the clips from the 1980 and the and they got the same actor that played um, in those parts as, as a child, now as an adult. And they had him redo this kind of same part singing along. And I like, wow, that's cool. And the whole thing at the end, they go, once a Toys R Us kid, always a Toys R Us kid. It's cute. I like it. Um, you know, and it's just, it's just fun. And I think, you know, they, they, you know, you kind of still feel that, you know, that vibe and it's a good memory. And it makes, you know, think, you know, you know maybe someone else can kind of pick up the mantle and try to, you know, do it with what they got. Maybe Walmart will take an angle from that, um, you know. Cause it, it, Toys R Us does have something and something. You remember the fact, you know, that, they, that, that that's a place where you go to get your toys. You know, it's just that, it's got that staple, it's got that branding, it's never going to go away. Um, but, yeah, just thought I'd share that. I, it was a nice little moment. And, I'm sure you guys have some moments too if you want to comment. I'm sure you all remember a you know, good day at Toys R Us. Uh, well, have a nice one. Bye-bye. Right,